Erin, what's on tap for the holiday? You know, I do think it's going to be pretty cloudy tomorrow, but the rain chances have actually gone down for the daytime hours. Still expecting them to pick up as we head into the evening, though. Let's take a look at our Dallas time lapse. Earlier this morning, 6:30 a.m., cloudy, maybe a few spotty showers. We started to see some breaks in the clouds once we got. To 10, 11 o'clock, but then that heavy rain rolling through some really cool clouds going on. And now, as we head past sunset, 10:35 this evening, we've got some storms off in the distance that we're watching, but they will continue to weaken as they move east. Because look at these temperatures: upper 60s and low 70s right now. But it was a dramatic drop in temperatures from the 80s and 90s into the 60s and 70s once we had those storms start to really fire up around 2, 3 o'clock. In the afternoon, dropping heavy rain, gusty winds. We had some hail as well. Hail reports, especially in Denton and Hunt counties. And now we're watching these storms out to the west. They fired ahead of a dry line and they're weakening as they move into a little bit more of a stable environment. You notice they're almost kind of stalling just to the west of South Bend, to the west of Stephenville, but we do have some storms down to the south. Into central Texas, I'd say Comanche County into Erath County. Then you got Hamilton. Mills County and down into Coriel County. That's where we're seeing some of the strongest storms right now. Storms with a lot of lightning, that heavy rain, and gusty winds as well. 40 to even 50 mile an hour winds once you get a little bit farther south into central Texas. So we're watching them approach, but they're weakening as they do so. And that's what we're expecting to continue heading into the overnight hours. So by four o'clock, scattered showers, maybe a couple of storms up to the north and down to the south. We've got a few showers around. As we head towards 7:30 a.m., and then there's kind of a question of are we even going to have enough energy to see this as we head toward midday? But it pushes quickly up to the north, and then we're dealing with a little bit of a lull in the shower and storm activity until the overnight hours, and then coverage actually picks up pretty significantly on Tuesday. 70% chance for showers and storms, a high of 75 degrees. This is as this low just very casually moves across North Texas. So you've got a 50% chance for showers and storms on Wednesday, and high temperatures only. Expected to top out in the mid 70s. And we've got more rain and storms on the way through the next several days. We've got this low pressure system that just gradually pushes off to the east. And as it does so, it leaves us with those showers and storms. So we've got a 30% chance by the time we get to Friday and continuing into next weekend.